वेलकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जल प्रयाग आई गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू ऑन द सेम टॉपिक वी हैड डन इन द लास्ट वीक आल्सो एंड इट इज रिगार्डिंग दैट हॉरिजॉन्टल सेक्सटेंट एंगल वी हैव डन कपल ऑफ केसेस एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू केस नंबर थ्री and uh, clearly mentioned on the screen itself that uh, it's going to be theta which is equal to 90 when the angle horizontal angle between the two light houses are or two objects are exactly 90 degrees this video is going to be a little a smaller one uh, as and when the cases uh, keep continuing you will see that uh, i'll not be repeating lot of things so it might be a smaller version for you to uh, sit down and have a look so let us start with uh, again a small uh, hypothetical question uh, which again i will be solving on the chart also for the benefit of uh, application of the principle so i am calling it uh, a vessel is waiting in a place and uh, these are the three lighthouses i have chosen and these are the bearings at a first glance you might feel that uh, it's uh, same question it is not same it is similar so i'll tell you what is the difference uh, again here i am asking you the position only uh, as i said uh, earlier or if you had uh, watched uh, video number 16 you would have realized that i have uh, given one more application of hsa where you find error compass error and the deviation uh anyway that i will leave it to that uh, one video but right now i am going to just uh, go more on the concepts of the different cases now a quick recap we have already dealt with the angle which is less than 90 angle which is more than 90 and uh, these are the two videos uh, you need to have a look in case you are coming for the first time video number 16 and 90 of jal prayag please go to the playlist and uh, search for hsa or horizontal angle and this time i'm going to deal with case number 3 which is theta is equal to 90 i've already mentioned uh, there are totally five cases so this is the third case uh, in the next video i will finish off uh, case number 4 and case number 5 together because uh, they are uh, pretty uh, simpler than so these three cases these three cases have uh, a little bit of job Uh, where we are looking at drawing the baseline, deciding which side you are. So uh, that issue is slightly lesser when you look at uh, case number four and case number five. So let us start off. The first part of the question, uh, which is your lighthouse number one and lighthouse number two, is actually a repeat of case number one, which is theta is equal to less than ninety. Just it's just a repeat. So I'm going to go a little bit fast on this. It was two three zero compass, three zero zero, and uh, theta one was seventy. We have already done this question, and alpha one was twenty degrees. But uh, I'm going to look at the lighthouse number two and three, which I have changed now. It is not the same as the last uh, video. I have changed it, and uh, I'm going to take uh, lighthouse two and lighthouse three, and this is where I need to find theta two. And alpha two. Let us go back to the compass rows. I told you always, please go to the compass rows. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of confusion. Uh, I can see this uh, with uh, my own students also. Even though the concept was told, but uh, when practically when it came to uh, putting the question on the chart, they were slightly confused with the approach. So you need to know about this concept of baseline. i'm going to show you the first two lighthouses as as i said that is a repeat so this is the baseline for the two lighthouses and this is the angle between the two lighthouses looking at this picture itself is very evident that you are on eastern side of your baseline this is very important for you how to draw alpha so in this case you are eastern side of baseline that is what is your towards your so let us look at the uh lighthouse number 2 and 3 i'm drawing the baseline and then i'm joining them and this is your theta 2 
which is coming exactly 90 degrees. So this is what we are going to solve. I'm not going to uh, rerun on uh, theta 1, which is 70, which we have already done a couple of times. So I'm not going to do that. Now look at the baseline here also. You need to judge which side of the baseline your vessel is. Okay. Again, it shows you that you are southeast of the baseline. So your vessel side is southeast. Please remember this when we draw the position circle. So here also, when theta uh, is equal to 90 also, I get a position circle. So I'm skipping the first two lighthouses. Let us go to the lighthouse 2 and 3. I'm going to mark theta 2 as 90 degrees. Then alpha 2 becomes 0. Now this is the catch. I'm going to draw the baseline. If you remember uh, in the previous modules, if not, please go and have a look. We used to always draw the angle alpha. Uh, let us say I start from Yankee. I used to always draw the alpha from Yankee with a difference of that yellow and an orange color line. That is that is how I differentiated. That is why I have shown you alpha with an orange color uh, symbol. So we used to always draw, let us say, your alpha 1 for sake of a recap. Alpha 1 was 20. So I used to draw a small line, orange color line, from Yankee with an angle of 20 degrees between this yellow line, the, which is the baseline, and the orange. And I used to do the same thing when I go for your Zulu also. That is what uh, you have to do. You have to do this. And then wherever those two orange color lines were joining uh, with the same alpha of 20 and 20, that point was called C, and C was the center of the position circle. Now let us see here in this case, when theta is 90, your alpha is 0, which means there is no difference of angle between the yellow baseline and the orange color line we draw. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let us say there is no difference. That means I run this orange color line from Yankee and I run from the Zulu also. So it's very evident it's, it is going to come and meet exactly at a point which is here. So this becomes my Charlie now. And this is the Charlie I'm going to use to draw my position circle. Now I mentioned this Charlie is on the baseline exactly midway because theta is equal to 90. You could have drawn this Charlie by a simple process of geometry called perpendicular bisector also. So you could have done that also. If you get it, you will get exactly the same uh, point. Now, once I have got my Charlie, I still can draw a full circle, which may not be needed also. And if you are aware, when we saw on the compass rows, Looking at this second and third lighthouse, our vessel was southeast of the baseline. So that means I can still take the compass, put the needle at Charlie, take radius as Yankee or Zulu, both should be same, and draw a bay, your position circle. So this becomes your position circle, which means you are anywhere on this circle, could be anywhere. And this is what I'm going to show you on the chart right now. Let us go back onto the same chart what we used. Here, the first baseline was uh, from the left-hand bottom lighthouse to the center light. We have already done that, but I'll still show you. We had alpha as 70 degrees, sorry, theta as 70 degrees and alpha is 20. So I'm drawing alpha towards the vessel because theta was less than 90. I got Charlie from Charlie with your X-ray and uh, yeah, radius. I could have drawn a position circle. And I know eastern side of this baseline is my vessel. Let us go to this case number three, which is the second baseline. Your second baseline, we already know theta is equal to 90, which means I have to figure out where is the center for me. And that center is exactly on the baseline. That is also midway. So you can do a perpendicular bisector. Or if you don't want, you can just measure the distance between the two lighthouses and mark the center physically. So I'm going to take theta to 90, alpha 2. I've physically taken the center of that line so that blue color is your new Charlie and your radius is still both the lighthouses. So I'm going to draw this. Now you can see this two circles are joining at a place. And by compass rose logic, 
we already saw that I'll be slightly southeast of this new baseline and anyway easterly of the first baseline. So for me, this is the fix. So I already got the fix. So all you have to do is measure your lat long, give an answer. And uh, in case they had asked you compass error, all you have to do is join this fix with the three lighthouses, measure the two bearings, and the difference gives you the error. So this is the uh, end of your uh, new case called uh, theta is equal to 90. It was a simple one, but be careful. Your center is exactly midway on the baseline, but you still have to draw a cohesion something. So this will be uh, a small part of confusion, which uh, I'm going to tell you when it is case number four in the next video. I uh, hope this video was good enough. Please try it on the chart. You'll find it. Uh, it's not a great thing. You can still get all your answers. Uh, please keep watching Jal Prayag. I'll come back soon with uh, case number four and case number five. Vanakam. Namaste. Namaskar.